Yo, welcome back everybody to a double live stream because we just had one uh, regarding the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Today we're going to be going over, well now we're going to be going over something that has been rumored, big disclaimer, rumor, but it's most probably true, I think. Um, in a recent report, it is to be believed Star Wars will be keeping things in the family when it comes to casting Thrawn in a live action production. LRM claims that Lars Mikkelsen the brother of Mads Mikkelsen from Casino Royale, um, and the new, um, yeah, has been cast to play the role after having voiced the character for two seasons on Star Wars Rebels, with no clarification regarding the validity of the casting, though this report should be taken with a serious grain of salt, or as I like to say, grain of sand. Interestingly enough, the report also mentions that Star Wars has reportedly found its live action as a bridger in the form of Aladdin, Star Mena Masood, unlike Lars Mikkelsen, this isn't the first time Masood has been connected with the live action Lucasfilm production. There's like tons of reports on this. And if you didn't know, Lars voiced um, Thrawn in Rebels. So this is a perfect fit. And he's obviously a great actor, it runs in the family. So uh, I'm pretty stoked to see this. As for Mena as Ezra, I can see it. I was hoping for Rahul, but. It's cool. Um, ever since Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka Tano uttered Thrawn's name in Season 2 The Mandalorian, the live-action appearance of the villainous Grand Admiral Thrawn has been imminent. Additionally, possible casting for the character has also been a subject for strong, of strong speculation. So once again, this is just a rumor. Um, this is going to be Ezra, most probably, and Thrawn will be Lars Mikkelsen, which, honestly, dude, like that's like casting, that's like casting um, Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka Tano. It's pretty cool because you got the voice and you just immediately will connect with the character hands down no problem because we're already used to his voice and who knows thrawn better than the guy who plays him as the voice so i think it's a very very good decision if they actually do choose lars uh this article goes on to say according to the site lrm online which we just no we didn't read that one um it appears that well let's just click it and see what happens Sure, being casting confirmed, exclusive. Yeah, I'm always a little bit skeptical whenever something says confirmed, unless Lucasfilm themselves do it, but... Um, over a year ago, LRM broke the news that Lucasfilm was planning on expanding the Star Wars Disney Plus shows with an Ahsoka, Boba Fett, and a combination of Ezra Bridger and Thrawn show. Since the Disney Plus has a set, since Disney has an announced that the upcoming shows, the Book of Boba and Ahsoka coming to... Do you think Thrawn's going to be in Book of Boba? With the debut of the live-action version of Ahsoka in The Mandalorian, we learn that the famed Togruta is on the hunt for Thrawn. It is safe to assume that Thrawn and Ezra are together, since the last time we saw them both were yeah, in Rebels, when they basically transported in hyperspace with the Pergil um, to the Unknown Regions. So we don't really know where they are, we don't know what's going on with Ezra. Obviously they're alive, since they're being cast. Masood is a talented actor who rose to start in playing the role of Aladdin, um, while his popularity grew after the movie, the opportunity for new roles did not come as far as he would like. It is safe to assume that the new role with Masood will be busy for the next few years. A while back, Mena posted on Instagram a photo of him shirtless with the caption getting all the attention. Hey, just so you know, when I escape, I won't hurt any of you. Which, of course, is a reference to a line from Ezra Bridger in Star Wars Rebels. So, I mean, these guys obviously, like, they know what they're doing when they, like, make these little posts. And, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, that's... That's, <laughs> I'd be very surprised if this wasn't confirmed 100%. But uh, Karate has originally reported that Masood was the favorite uh, and the talks were ongoing. However, Masood is now signed on, we can confirm. Oh, okay, so he's definitely on. And then Lars, the news of Lars coming to the Mandoverse as great Thrawn, great, as Grand Admiral Thrawn is welcoming news for fans of Star Wars Rebels and Timothy Zahn. It was Mickelson himself that voiced Thrawn in the animated series for 17 episodes. Thrawn is one of the most unique characters in the Star Wars universe. He was first introduced in the novel Heir to the Empire, blah, blah, blah. What makes this news perfect is the age of both actors. Very true. I feel like, you know, they put some makeup on him. You can look like pretty much anybody. And he's got like a, like a bony structure, a masculine structure just like Thrawn does. So I think it's going to work just fine. And he's got the cadence. He's going to get the contacts, the red eyes. He's gonna get the he's got the voice down. Dude. I love when they cast voice actors as the actual thing, like Bo Katan. It's perfect. 
I'm very pumped for this. So, what do you guys think? What are you feeling? How do you feel about it? Today's big news comes from the Insider LRM. Yeah, it seems like they're all just kind of like, like one article makes it and then everyone else just kind of like jumps on it. <laughs> I hope I'm not clickbaited. No, yeah, I hope so. I I don't think so. I think I think these are legit. Um, like I said again, it's a rumor. So until it's confirmed by Lucasfilm, all of this is just someone on the inside leaking something. But I mean, who knows, right? But I'm pretty sure this is there's some validity to it. Total CGI and easy to turn skin blue these days. Lars will be wonderful. Well, they just paint him, right? Like they did with Yondu. Yondu is like a perfect, um, he, he could actually play Thrawn probably. Lars Mendelsohn was in Rogue One. Yeah, but this is the actor's name. Lars is the actor's name. Which is kind of funny. Because his brother, Mads Mikkelsen, played a character named Lars in Rogue One, who is his, real, who is his brother's real name. It's kind of cool. They rumored this back in January. Right, but it's more confirmed now. As far as rumors go. Beyond Hyped have been waiting for the continuation of Bridger's storyline for a long time. You know what's cool about that is having Ezra in there is that I've... Dude, I'm a sucker for the, uh, the Mortis arc. I mean, if we have him there, if we have him in there, then maybe we can learn a little bit more. Like, why was the only, he the only one that could open the gate to the world between worlds? You know, like, there must be something be to that. And to be able to see the sun, I just feel like, I don't know, man. It's such a cool realm of Star Wars that I think would be really neat to see in live action. Love you, Theory. I sent you a Patreon message. Check it out. RE poster, unless you got it worked out, then disregard. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I've had a few of you be like, oh, I'll send you a poster. But I don't know, dude. I just feel, I don't know, I feel bad. Like, I, I would, I want to pay you guys for it. And it's just like, I don't know. Um, do I ever have time to sleep? Uh, I slept at 6 a.m. today. And then I woke up at like 10. And I'm like, ah, I'm just going to wake up. And then I just felt like crap. So then I went back to bed. And then I woke up recently. Wow, well, like three, four hours ago. But no, dude, I, I like what I do. So I'm going to work hard. Didn't we already have Ezra Thrawn movie, the live action remake, just to give Thrawn to Will Smith? Huh? Oh, you mean Aladdin? <laughs> what the hell? No, because Thrawn isn't a magic genie. Hey, Theory, big fan. Do you think Ahsoka will die? Um, I hope not. Both Lars and Mads in the Star Wars universe. Awesome. Mads Mikkelsen is one of my favorite characters. So, Cal Kestis and Ezra collab. Yeah. Theory, you're one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Oh, thank you. Um, I was hoping that Ashley Eckstein played Ahsoka in The Mandalorian just couldn't connect to Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka. Really? I found Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka to be really good. I actually connected quite well. Um, she had everything, the movement, the facial expressions, the, this is like a much more mature Ahsoka, you know? So it's, it's cool. Um, I feel like they, honestly, they could have made Ashley Eckstein Ahsoka. Yeah, I, and I think it would have worked, but I'm not in charge of casting, so. Sorry. Um, I need a Boba Fett trailer now. Oh, dude. I've heard some things about Boba Fett. I mean, I've heard things that, like, nothing spoiler-wise, because I was like, I don't want to be spoiled, but I've just heard that it's going to make fans pee-pee their pants. Like, it's, it's going to make Mando Season 2 look like an absolute slaughtered-down joke. So I'm all for it. I'm ready, man. I think the, this December is going to be bigger than last year. I'm making a joke here. It's funny that we have Aladdin playing Ezra. <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see the live action Aladdin movie. Was it good? I don't know. I kind of like the, um, I like the cartoon version, the original version. It just feels kind of weird. Like I saw Lion King and it was good, but I don't know. Nothing ever comes close to the original, but you're mixing nostalgia in there. So it's kind of hard to even ever beat that. I love you so much, Theory. I love watching your videos, and I feel like I'm in the room with you. Have a good-ass day. Thanks, man. Yeah, you know, if that's... I feel like... I've always felt like that with you guys. Like, I just feel like you guys are here with me, you know? Always one with the force kind of thing. Don't tell me this, Theory. You're getting me super effing hyped. Dude. 
Bro, get hypes. Book of Boba is gonna make Mando season two look like a joke. I trust the sources that I've heard from. Like, I don't know any details, but I've, I... <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, Galen Eros was his character name in Rogue One. Yes, but his brother's name is Lars. Will you be doing an open casting call for Vader 2? Um, when it comes time to it, in the final, in the finale of the Bad Batch, has the Martez sisters, will you scream like Cal Kestis? Oh, dude, that scream took me so out of the game. I was like, you can see it, I was tearing up, and then all of a sudden I start laughing. Please don't give me that hype. Dude, I'm telling you, man, like, I wouldn't give you hype unless I fully believed it. I mean, I believed the hype for episode 8 and 9. <laughs> Look how wrong we all were. Um, Galen Urso. Yeah, he's not coming back. He's dead. Which would be cool, but... Um, well, actually... The Andor series, Galen Urso can come back. So, don't give me hope. Yeah, that's what I said when I saw the, the Luke's X-Wing. How much more can Mando Season 3 do with their budget increase? Did they get a budget increase? Oh, whoa. What? Oh, this was two years ago. A hundred and twenty million. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. It just goes to show, man. <laughs> streaming shows are literally making more money than movies. I feel like in the long run. Yeah, if you think about it, everyone's paying like ten bucks a month. I want to see Cody and Crosshair team up in Bad Batch. Ooh, that'd be cool. I'm glad they cast Thrawn. Yeah, where the hell is Cody? Like, the hell? Do you think the next episode of Bad Batch, War Mantle, we will see the transition of human stormtroopers from clone? Maybe. But I just want to see Phase 3 clone troopers. Like, what's the deal? Like, what do they have planned for that? We only have three episodes left, man. Like, last week was just... I mean, uh, the episode yesterday was weak. Weak sauce. Yo, Mellow Skywalker, what's up, dude? I'm hyped for this casting. I wonder if they'll have Sabine Wren in there. Who should play her? Mm. Honestly, the actress I thought um, was going to play Sabine uh, played Koska Reeves. Um, what was her name? She was the wrestler. Um, Sasha something. Sasha Baron Cohen. Any thoughts on the Dune movie? No, I don't really know much about Dune, so. Maybe I'll watch the old one tonight. Wait, what? There's a Thrawn and Ezra show happening? No, so Thrawn and Ezra, I believe, will be in the Ahsoka show. Yo, what's going on, Em? Mina had said after Aladdin that he was able to find work and wasn't being hired by anyone in Hollywood. I hope this casting is true because I think it's a great opportunity for him and he deserves it. I think it's true. I mean, his quote that he made, it's kind of just... Like, why would you make a direct quote of Ezra? Or maybe he's just playing into it, kind of like, you know, Rahul did. It's possible. I've heard Cody is going to be in the Kenobi show. Yeah, I heard that too. I think it'd be cool. I've ever thought of streaming on Twitch instead. Um, no. I like YouTube. I don't... I don't know. Twitch isn't for me, I don't think. <clears throat> I started out on YouTube, and I like YouTube, and it's my home, you know? 
Did I watch Black Widow? No. Oh, I'm almost done Loki, though. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to go watch the last episode right now. I'm on episode six, so. Have I heard the tragedy of, ah, the Polynesian Spa? Who's my favorite Star Wars character? Qui-Gon Jinn. Will Freddie Friends Jr. be in the Ahsoka show? Probably not. Unless Kanan became a Force ghost or something. I don't know. What's up, dude? What's up, Nate? What's up, Nate Wolf Gaming? What's going on, man? Um, would you would you want to see Thrawn in Book of Boba? Yeah, I think Thrawn will be in like probably all the shows. No point using Twitch as you have 3 million subs. Actually, no, it would probably be very beneficial to my career if I use Twitch to, like, branch out. But, um, I don't know. I don't care. I'm just good. I'm good here. I just want to make my content and on YouTube, and that's... I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I find it weird we haven't gotten an announcement for any kind of Qui-Gon project. Yeah. That is weird, I suppose. But just wait till Kenobi, because we'll probably get in there. Who should play Sabine? I don't know. Did you catch the Indiana Jones reference in the Bad Batch? No. Can you please give your Viota voice? What do you mean you want me to give it to you like the freaking Monstars got the, the power of like Charles Barkley and <laughs> from Space Jam? Like what do you What do you want me to do? Like <laughs> Here you go. Here's my Yoda voice. What's my favorite comic? I really like the one where Qui-Gon almost turns to the dark side because his, uh, his girlfriend dies, like, right in front of him. That dude needs to be Thrawn. He's in Witcher. Is he? Really? Who is he in Witcher? Oh, you read the game? There's a goat doesn't need twitch oh, i could always do with expanding that'd be fine i'd like to take this channel as you know up to like 20 million subs i think that would be pretty neat thoughts on spoilers or cast call sheets ruling the magic experience i don't know the magic experience very well f in the chat for qui-gon's girl yeah her name was tall T-A-H-L. Selena Gomez for Sabine. Is this Mark Hamill for Witcher, in Witcher Season 2? I hope so. That'd be cool. I didn't hear anything like that. Can you say my name? It's Cameron. Ezra should get a purple saber. I heard that Tony Stark was going to be in the Book of Boba. Oh, interesting. I don't know what he would do in there. That girlfriend scene in the Qui-Gon comic you just described, did that inspire that Mandalore scene in the Clone Wars with Obi and Satine? I don't think so. But I could see how you would say that. What if they bring Sam Witwer for live action for the Son of Mortis? That would be pretty sweet. Change my name back. Cool that you remember me. Of course I remember you, man. Of course I remember you, man. I remember more than you guys think. Or I remember more than I, than I let on. And I know more than I let on. I am like Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I get... Good thing I got Koala to explain all this stuff for me. Kawika? Oh wait, not Ko Kawika? Who's Kawika? Good thing I got Kawika to explain all this stuff. What's that? I 
How am I doing? I'm chilling. You know how it is. I'm writing a fan fiction right now. It's doing okay. Am I gonna do a game stream tonight? Probably not. I'm focusing more on the channel. I'm focusing more on like my other channels and stuff. I feel like gaming just takes so much of my time. I, I love it and it, it I it just it takes too much time. And um Yeah. So I gotta chill out a little bit on it. I'm spending like weight I was spending more time on my gaming channel than any other channel for like months and I just I shouldn't do that. It's not um it's not, prog it's not progressing my goals. Do you remember saying my name? You said it wrong every time, Lameo. David de la Barcena. David de la Barcena. Yo, Colin! What's up? Love you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a chill day, man. Yeah. I slept late. Woke up late. Same old thing. You know how it is. Yeah, how's your day going? How you doing? I guess the stream has now turned into just a uh, chill with the chat kind of thing. I'm down with it. I'm down with it for a few more minutes. Can't wait for a droid story. Like, oh my god. Theory, do you know who I am? Says JS Joe 4 I do not. I do not. I do not know who any of you are, actually. But... A lot of you know a lot more about me. What's my gaming channel called? It's called Theories Arcade. It's a weird channel. <laughs> I don't recommend subscribing. It's weird. I'd love to see 21... Who? Toost uses all the money from donos for Warzone skins. <laughs> yeah. You think they'll make his eyes blue? Maybe. I just got here. Sorry, what is this about? Oh, so there's a rumor that Thrawn and Ezra are cast. These two gentle main right here. Theory, guess my favorite clone trooper after Rex. Hauser. Apex Legends. Do do do. You saying this gotta be Thrawn in a movie or series? Yeah. I'm subbing just because you said not to. <laughs> Have you heard the Activision lawsuit? What? What do you mean, Activision? Mm -hmm. Whoa, Activision Blizzard sued over frat boy culture harassment? What? What is this? The Activision Blizzard lawsuit fallout is what women have been saying all along. Activision Blizzard social media empire has been silent for Seems like something I would cover on my gaming channel. We can do that. We down. I don't know what it's about though. What's up, man? I'm in Missouri on my way to Texas to work on some tur wind turbines. Dude, cool. You're still freaking killing it. How you been? Was los? Wie geht's, mein Freund? Always tune in when I can. I'm glad to hear that. Drive safe, dude. What's up, man? Love to buy that poster for you. Dutch Wookie. My man. Mahalo, brother. Mahalo. Um, for those of you who don't know... Dutch Wookie is the winner of the Xbox Series X giveaway that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I still can't get one for myself, man. It's like, and I don't know if I will, to be honest, because I got a pretty beast PC. So it's kind of a waste of money if I just buy, like, why would I, why would I get that? It's like everything I can play on that, I can play on PC, so. But it's kind of chill, like, because you get to, it doesn't put as much stress on my computer when I stream, but... I've never ran into any issues lately since I upgraded like crazy. Yeah. It's sad I can't buy that poster because I live in Europe. Tell me about it. I'm like literally right over the border. It's like, do I have any sick Funko Pops? I have one Funko Pop that I've never taken out of the box just because it's so valuable. It was way too expensive and I bought it uh, about a year ago. And um, I've never shown it. <laughs> I've never actually made a video or shown it or anything like that, but 
Yeah, it's very rare. It's um, it's Commander Cody receiving Order sixty six. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Dude, you know what I found yesterday? Actually, I found um. <laughs> I have the Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire first edition book. Like, what? I didn't even realize. I didn't know it was first edition. Has there watched Rebels? Yes, I have. Do I have any Black Series figures? No. I think I, ha I have the Black Series Boba Fett helmet. That's it. Which I randomly wore on the first episode of Mando Season 2 when Boba showed up. Show the Funko. Um, we gotta think where it is. Oh, I know where it is. If you want me to show you, I can. But... Let's do a poll. So I gotta go rummaging for it. Selena Gomez is Sabine. Will you get the Black Series Darksaber? Also, today I'm working on a news cosplay. The Batman DeLorean. Grogu will be my Robin. That's funny. 300 people want to see it, almost. Um, if you vote no, see yourself outright. <laughs> I bought the Comic-Con Captain Rex Funko last year for May 4th for 200 bucks. It's now worth below 400. Damn, dude. Yeah, this was, I think, the Comic-Con exclusive too, but it was like from a few years ago. Do I do any cosplay? I have a very good Batman suit. But I just need to get the cowl fixed because it looks kind of funny. Okay, 400 people. Okay, I'll go get it. Give me a moment, please. Returned. Uh, here it is. Oh. I can really see it properly, but Whoa. I want that hooded Luke Skywalker. What the hell? Let's see that. It's kind of cool, hey? Yeah. So this is the only Funko I've never taken out. Because it's just... It's just too... 
too rare. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Yo, Caleb, thanks for that, man. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate that. With 10 bucks, he says, hi, Theory. I just became an airman after basic training. It's been really exciting catching up on the reactions and content I couldn't be a part of. Thank you so much for everything, Star Wars. Dude, congratulations on being an airman. That's pretty cool. Um, I had a buddy in elementary school who was, he was like an air cadet, and now he like flies jets. It's crazy for the Air Force. It's, it's like it's so cool. That's one, one of the jobs I was really interested in as a kid. But uh, um, I need glasses, so I don't think I can, I don't think I could ever do it. Plus, math was never like my super strong. I just, you know, I didn't like it very much. But congratulations, man. I'm, and I'm glad you enjoy the channel. I hope you enjoy it for many more years to come. I saw Cody receiving Order 66 at GameStop two years ago for 15 bucks. I should have bought it. Dude, $15? What? Seriously? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this was not 15 bucks. Uh, Kawika is pronounced Kavika. Remember, we are Samoans from Hawaii. Remember now, Kavika. I always say it wrong. So W is V, so just like German, because we say V for W is too. Wunderbar, which is a W U B. Is it Samoan or Samoan? How many people we got in Hawaii from here? Because we got Dutch Wookie. And I guess we got Robert? Okay, yo. I'm always curious to, to see. Do I collect hot toys? Excited for any figures? Um, I have a couple hot toys. I'm setting up my office right now, and it's looking pretty dope. But um, I don't know where I'm gonna put my Anakin Skywalker uh, Mustafar. It's pretty rare. It's a pretty rare one. It's not like one of the typical ones. It's like him with the Sith eyes and the cloak and everything, and he's like floating on the lava. From Melbourne, Australia, currently here in lockdown. Oh, damn. 7% of people out of 300 are from Hawaii. Wow, that's so cool, man. Well, thank you so much for joining the stream. I love you guys. Uh, Hawaii holds a very, very special place in my heart. Um, very. And I will be living there. Like, it makes me emotional just thinking about it. It's a very, very special place for me. So, I'll definitely be living there someday. Alright guys, I'm going to bounce. It's been cool chilling, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I hope you have a great, great rest of your day. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for chilling with me. Love you all. See you later.